Yeah. So, uh, looks like an Atari plug and play, and then a PlayStation 1. Do you know what you'd be asking on them? Ooh, Tech 3. That's kind of cool. Warhawk. There's some decent PlayStation 1 games here. Power Move Wrestling, that's calling my name instantly. We are talking about some really nostalgic titles here. We've got Tony Hawk, Twisted Metal. We've got that Cowabunga collection for the PS5, which has some of the best games of all time. Oh, that's awesome. Game Boy Pocket and a bunch of Game Boy games. Oh man, you love to see it. Hey. What is up, friends, and welcome back to episode 85 of Thrifting Throwdown. I am your host, El Dab Stroyero, and this is the show where you and I hit the road getting down and dirty as we scratch and claw on our never-ending goal to build an absolutely massive video game collection. And not only are we trying to build a massive video game collection, but we are pinching pennies as we go, because here on Thrifting Throwdown, we like to game hunt on the cheap. It's money, 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 money. Last episode, we scored all kinds of goodies out at the yard sales, especially in terms of Xbox pickups because we grabbed a whole bunch of Xbox games. We grabbed a Halo replica helmet from the legendary collector's edition for Halo 3. And we actually grabbed a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff that we were able to flip for a little bit of profit for the game collection. And speaking of our game collection, after all of the pickups from the last episode, we are only 200 games away from 3,000 games in the collection. That's right, 2,800 games so far picked up as part of the Thrifting Throwdown series. We are really chugging along when it comes to picking up games for this collection, but that's not even our only milestone because we are currently fighting our way to 3,000 subscribers, and we are closing in so dang fast on 100 episodes of Thrifting Throwdown. So if you haven't hit subscribe already, do it right now because we are about to hit so many milestones for this channel and I definitely want you to be part of this tag team when we do it. I've got even more yard sale fun for you today, so be sure to stick around because you're gonna see all kinds of awesome silly stuff out at the yard sales. And if you stay around until the end of the video, you're gonna see all my best thrifts of the day. You'll know exactly what my most profitable pickups were, what my most valuable pickups were, what my rarest pickups were. You're gonna learn all that at the end of the video. So be sure to stick around until the end. Okay. But I do think that's just about enough talk for now. I am ready for some thrift hunting action. So lace up your boots, let's hit the road because it's time Time for a thrifting throwdown. Oh yeah! Hey, good morning. Yeah, how's it going? Hey, what's up? Not much. So you got a pile of games to look through here. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Two bucks each on the PS4 stuff. That's yeah, there's sports, sports games. Sports titles. Oh, you got consoles too. The old PS2, the PS3. That's nice. Yeah. We sold uh, last week Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Oh, really? Yeah, that's cool. Games, you know, classic games and stuff like that. Very nice. Okay, so this whole box is five bucks each. Yeah, each game, yeah. Twisted Metal. NBA Jam. Yeah, I think I can find some stuff that I might need. Okay. Are there games in this box too? Um, yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Mario Tennis. Did you have this one priced yet? Um... If the sticker's on it, the sticker's on it. This one's five. I was asking 20. I mean, I could probably do something else. Okay. So, like, five, five, and ten. five and ten for those ones? Yeah, these got the sticker on them. Six, okay. seven. Mario games are just a little more. Mamma mia! So those are all 15 a piece. Yeah. These I mean, are if you're going to buy a couple, I can help. I can get a, I'll be, you know, working deal. Okay. Package deal. Whatever. I'm just curious on the, the older stuff, were they tested already? And we know yeah, that they Yeah, older stuff was tested, yeah. Okay. I 
Yeah, unfortunately, the Nintendo and the Super got sold, so I don't have it. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> he picked out a bunch of games. Yeah, he took all the good stuff. <laughs> no, he, yeah, well, he took, you know, it was like Double Dragon 1 and 2. Yeah. Turtles 1 and 2. Yeah, oh, Turtles, that's the stuff I love. Oh, really? Yeah. Those Turtles games, they were classics. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I got this. This is great. Yes, oh, I was just oops, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just looking at that the other day. Is that one you're selling or keeping? I could probably sell it. I mean, I got it for the PS5. I mean, those are, PS5 is what I play. I yeah, mean, honestly, I almost picked this up at GameStop like two days ago. <laughs> oh, really? You're a phony. Hey, this guy's a great big phony. Okay, so those are the ones you're keeping. So I pulled out a pile there. I did grab them a few different boxes here. Just curious what your number would be on that. And I want to grab some of the retro console stuff. It's just the condition on them looks a little bit faded on the ones that I would grab. And then there's some sports stuff. So I, I think I'll skip those for now. But I am curious what you do on this pile. 55? 55. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're talking five or six bucks a piece. What, what was your total? 55? Yeah, well, it's based off the game. It's not yeah. really what I'm doing for I mean, this one. A more. Okay. I, I was that. Okay. Fair enough. Would you take 50 for the pile? Yeah. All right. I think you got a deal. Appreciate that. All right, Dabba Maniacs. Great start to the day out here in suburban hell, out in the middle of nowhere. I have no idea what street I'm on, but I did find a nice little stack of games to start the day here. So I want to throw these on the car, step over this giant pile of leaves and take a look at what we got. Because obviously he had a ton of stuff in there. He had lots of retro stuff. He had NES, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, but a lot of it was sports. A lot of it was in less than great condition. And when I'm picking up that old stuff, I don't wanna pick up something with a really faded or terrible label. I'd rather get something that looks clean and new and that I know is gonna work and that the condition's gonna be good. So that was the first thing that I wanted to explain why I didn't pick up more retro stuff from that pile. Okay. Obviously he was a reseller. He had his prices in mind, so that was gonna be a tricky one for me to navigate, but I think I did pretty well with this pile I picked up today. We are talking about some really nostalgic titles here. We've got Tony Hawk, Twisted Metal. We've got that Cowabunga collection for the PS5, which has some of the best games of all time, including Turtles in Time, which I grew up on Turtles in Time. I'm sure a bunch of you did as well, so I am super hyped to add that to the collection. But like I said, Twisted Metal, we got Street Fighter, NFL Street 3. You're gonna be looking at a few of these titles like why would you pick these up? But you have to remember some of these have good value even if they are sports titles. So this I believe is a $20 value. FIFA Street I think is a $20 value. This is 10, so those three alone right there just paid for this pile because we paid 50 bucks for these games. Oh. This is probably 30 bucks. This is 20 to 30 bucks. And I think Tony Hawk is a $10 game. So anyway, you slice it, we're looking at over $100 worth of games, possibly up to $150 worth of games here, and I paid $50 for it. So slightly above that two to $3 range I like to be at, but we picked up some cool titles and some cool additions to the collection. So which one of these gets you most excited? Is it the Cowabunga collection? Is it Twisted Metal 2? God, that takes me back. This is such nostalgia for like middle school, high school for me. There's Axel with his big ass tires. Oh, blowing up the Eiffel Tower. Who can forget Twisted Metal 2? Not to bias your answer or anything, but I'm curious which of these you are most hyped for. But Paula leaves notwithstanding, we have more thrifting to do today. It is very, very early and I know we're gonna have more game scores today. So let's get these back in the car, get back on the road and kick some shell. Pizza time. Millennium Falcon, that's very cool. Oh boy, pile of games. Wow, actually a big pile of games. Eight, nine, 20, 15. What are you asking on your PS4 games? I'm up and up, making oh, are they? I, so, I missed you know, Oh, there it was. Yeah, the so it says 25, okay. off me, you know, 2015, whatever. whatever sure, sure, sure. Understood. Thank you. No 
Definitely plenty to look at, but honestly, the prices are scaring the crap out of me because these are way higher than what I would normally want to spend for a game. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find anything here, even though there's plenty of cool stuff to look at. Oh, that's awesome. Game Boy Pocket and a bunch of Game Boy games. Oh man, you love to see it. That is incredible. That is stuff you do not see very often. Oh my God, $110. $50 on Defender and Joust. Game Gear Screen Magnifier. This is crazy. There's some really cool stuff in here, unfortunately. $49. Definitely out of my price range. What do you do at a time like this? Let me know down in the comments. Would you be picking up any of these games? Would you be skipping these? Honestly, I'm really curious to hear what you would do. $20 bucks for that. $48 for Secret of Mana. Oh my god. Cold Shadow, that's cool. Lunchbox is so cool looking. It's like a little radio, basically, lunch and tunes. 1986, oh my gosh. <laughs> Solid state circuitry. That's super cute. Did you see what I just spotted? They have a PlayStation 2 High School Musical Dance Pad in the box. Wow. I mean, that's hilarious and it's like huge but we probably could use a second dance pad. Bruh. I think we only have one for the PlayStation. Um, okay, well, there you go, five bucks. Not a bad find. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Hey, good morning. Good morning, sir. How's it going? Keep going. <laughs> so far. Oh, and it's not even nine o'clock. <laughs> I'm top three. Do you have any questions or whatever? Sure. I mean, do you know if you have any video games floating around anywhere? Yeah. Oh, no, you do. Video games. Oh. Videos. I think there's some. Yeah, I'm usually looking for like Atari, Nintendo, stuff like that. Okay, I don't mind looking. I think I did, but I did. these. And there's more back on okay. the back corner. Sure, well, I guess I'll look through here real quick. What do we got? Disc washer, pinball, high school musical. Oh. I don't mind waiting if you want to double check. All right, so we got Guitar Hero 3, DDR, pinball, and high school musical. Let's find out what's hidden back here in this barn. You said it's messy? <laughs> oh, I don't mind. It's uh, fun to look around places like this. What were you asking on those games that were in that bin, by the way? There was like four there, I think. Um, I mean, I'd do two bucks a piece on those probably. Okay. If she has any more, I'll take a look at those two then. Yeah, the box here. Yeah, I see we've got some VHS and stuff. Let's see what we've got here. Little Princess, Winnie the Pooh, Bernstein Bears, Cat in the Hat, Lassie, Kids Sing Christmas Veggie Tales. I'm thinking this one is all VHS. Maybe the X-Files VHS, that's kind of fun. Like that one is gonna be VHS. So that's kind of cool. Some really old Play-Doh. As we all know, attention spans have never been shorter. Did you find anything? Oh, okay. I don't mind looking at them. I guess I'll let you sum down first. <laughs> Thing. 
here. Let's see some Christmas DVDs. Yeah, that's fun stuff. Well, anyway, I've got uh, a 10 here. Do you have two ones? Perfect. Do you want the other ones? Huh? What other ones? Give me another two bucks. You can take that whole thing. Oh, there's nothing else in there okay. I need. I think it was like DVDs and other stuff. Okay. If there were other games, I definitely would have just took them all. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck today. Yep, thank you. Number three. <laughs> have a good one. And it's definitely better than being number two. <laughs> You're not mature. You still laugh at scatological humor. What's that? Poop jokes. <laughs> All right, back at the car, and today is shaping up to be a DDR kind of day. By the way, you gotta forget how messy my car is. But as I was saying, DDR kind of day because we have picked up High School Musical 3 Senior Year Dance, which does come with the game and the dance pad, which is actually kind of nice because I have some friends who like to play DDR, and I only had one PlayStation 2 DDR pad. So picking up a second one for five bucks, I am thrilled about that. Perfect. By the way, did you notice that was the same yard sale we had gone to a few weeks ago where I scored a few games? So pretty surprising to see they had something new this time. And then of course, digging around that barn, we managed to find four PlayStation 2 titles, including Dance Dance Revolution Disney Edition. So there you go. Like I said, it's a DDR kind of day. Is that a good or bad thing? Bad. Well, it's not for us to say. But then aside from that, we've got High School Musical, we've got Pinball, we've got Guitar Hero 3. Nothing too exciting, but I just want to do a quick recap before we hit the road again and see what else we can find. So buckle up, there's still more thrifting to do today. Now let's dance on out of here. bunch of buckets of toys here. Anything catching your eye? Two AJ Styles. We've also got Snowsuit Batman. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Look at the unicorn on that guy's helmet. <laughs> so random. Yeah. Isn't that a uh, Transformer? That looks like a Transformer to me and this is a very dirty Smurf. The Smurf is very dirty. Oh, oh my hands are dirty. Oh, oh, oh I'm a dirty boy. I'm a dirty boy. <gasps> oh yeah, I spotted the game pile. What do we got this time? Angry Birds, Connect, Power Rangers, Red Faction. Okay, I don't need any of those. Grand Tour Racing. I don't have Grand Tour Racing, so that's a that's a maybe for me. Too extreme. I also don't think I have. And of course, I can never pass up a demo disc, especially one for one dollar. Wow! Nova Storm Disc One. Ooh, Tech Three. That's kind of cool. Warhawk. There's some decent PlayStation One games here. Power Move Wrestling. That's calling my name instantly. Hot Wheels. Top Gun. Jet Moto. Grudge Warriors. Don't have that in the PS1 collection either. WCW. Smackdown. And we've got another wrestling game down here. Wow, two more wrestling games. And what do we got here for the old cartridge stuff? Street Fighter! Wow, only five bucks on X-Men. That's not terrible. Really rough condition on the Donkey Kong 2, unfortunately. That's cool, X-Zone. I don't think I've seen that one before. Fantastic Pets. Oh wow, I just noticed there's an Xbox sitting down here in the box. That's cool. Wow. We love seeing boxed consoles out in the wild. Ooh, $80 in television. Look at all the games in that box. That is really interesting. Bunch of games and manuals mixed in. Looks like a bunch of old junk. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, the vintage Pac-Man thing. Does it have the year on it? I think it's worn off. It probably would have been right down there at the bottom, but yeah. that is super neat. The uh, lunch tray, dinner tray, whatever the heck that would be. Oh, and it makes a great sound, too. <laughs> the other thing that caught my eye, though, is they have this Mario set here. With a bunch of neat figures in it. Like, those would look pretty cool on the shelf, I think. The Goomba. 
<laughs> yeah, very cute. So I did find a pile of games here. I'm curious what you could do on them. I think it's about $50 worth of games based on the prices he is on there. Yeah, I think I think it's a little over fifty dollars when I added it up. So if we did fifty for that in the mug, I'd be fine with that. I could go fifty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, because there's some cool stuff in there, so I don't need to like you know work too hard, especially because I got a bunch of them like a dollar, a yeah. dollar, yeah. and then there was a few that was like fifteen dollars. So eh, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, friends, you can see the corn is tall, and you know what that means? That means it is closing in on the end of a yard sale season here for us. You know, I've been to this yard sale a bunch of times now this season, and once again, picked up an entire sack of games. And there's just some stuff in here that I'm so hyped about. Right on top here, of course, Power Move Pro Wrestling, something I've never seen while out thrifting, and you know I love picking up wrestling games. So this is a perfect addition to the collection, and I'm so freaking thrilled about that. Begin. Honestly though, since I'm in the middle of the road, I'm not gonna pull them all out, but I will say I got a pretty good deal for $50. A bunch of stuff I don't have in the collection, a bunch of stuff that's like $15 to $20 value games. And there were a bunch of PS1 long box games in there missing the box. So a little bit painful that I'm gonna have to try to piece those back together, but you just do not see those older PlayStation 1 era games that often. So I'm thrilled to have a nice little sack of them. But this is just the beginning. We have not even scratched the surface today. Let's keep going, see what else we can find and add even more games to the collection as we wrap up the yard sale season. Come on, showtime's over. We've got work to do. Good morning. We're still setting up. <laughs> Would you keep finding another box? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. The way it always goes. Jesus, how you doing? I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Have you been busy so far? Uh, a little bit. That's Do good. You? Yeah. Do you know if you have any video games floating around by any chance? What? Video games, like Atari, Nintendo, anything like that? My grandkids She's... kept them all. Oh, really? <laughs> I had, like, the old ones, Frogger, this, that. Yeah, and yeah, and Frogger, and all and that and stuff. Everything. Everyone loves Frogger. I had the old Nintendo. Nintendo, yeah, there you go. Or whatever the hell. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the stuff I'm looking for. The PlayStation, old PlayStation. Love, first love PlayStation. the PlayStation. The first one. Okay, sure, I'll poke around out here. Yeah, PlayStation was great. I love all your Halloween decorations. They're very spooky. <laughs> It's too spooky, too spooky. It's much too spooky for me. My so, he says, well, I was going to use that. It's in the cupboard. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, looks like an Atari plug and play and then a PlayStation 1. Do you know what you'd be asking on them? 20 bucks? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll take that for 20 bucks. You got the cables and everything with it. <laughs> okay. How could I say no to that? I don't know what it's worth. So. Oh, I don't either. PlayStation 1, I'm not sure. Probably a little bit more than that. But, you know, it's a yard sale. It's untested. So right. I'll grab it for right. 20. Right. And this I've never seen. I think this is kind of new, but still could is. be fun to play. I think you just plug you plug it in and it's like an Atari on a little thing, basically. But I, you lost me on that. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, perfect. I'm glad I stopped, yeah, ladies. Thank you. Go. Thank you so you much. Yeah, yeah, see? Oh, and I assume there are no games to go with it, right? Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Well, what was he going to use it for if he had no games? <laughs> I don't know. He buys all this stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What good is it if you don't have any games? Well, he probably has something somewhere. I don't know. He doesn't uh, know. Next yard sale, we'll find I that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Well, Dabba Maniacs, the sun is getting low. So ends another day of thrifting, but we have a really cool pickup to talk about here at the end of the day. First off, I have never seen this particular plug and play before, this paddle Atari thing. I can't imagine it goes for too much because how many people are really nostalgic to play some paddle Atari? These controllers are always so clunky and weird to use. Not the most fun thing you can play, but still an interesting retro game pickup because this thing is not that new if I remember. I think it's like 10 or 20 years old at this point, so that's still kind of interesting. 
And then, of course, the PA State Resistance, all wrapped up in wires here. Haven't even had a chance to really take a look at this, but we have a controller, all the power cables, the AV cables, and an original PS1 for 20 bucks. 20 bucks? I'm in! This thing does need a little bit of cleanup, and I already looked inside, and there is no bonus disc, so that is a bummer. But considering we picked all of this up for 20 bucks, I really cannot complain. And I also can't complain when you consider how great of a day of thrifting we have had today. So much fun out here picking up games, and we have had a PlayStation game haul today for sure. And I am so hyped to get back to the game room and take a look at it all with you. Just a reminder, not only are you going to see the game haul, you're going to see my best thrifts of the day. So make sure you're sticking around for this. But let's hit the road one more time, head back to the game room, and take a look at everything that we picked up today. Oh yeah. All right, friends, back in the game room once again. And this time we have got probably one of my all time favorite game halls to talk about today. You are seeing some absolute PlayStation bangers here with some titles that go for some good, good value. And we scored them today pretty cheaply off of a reseller who actually had some pretty decent prices. It was kind of shocking. Normally when I find a game reseller out in the wild, I am not getting the best deals, but today I somehow made out. Um, okay, I'll take it. Suck it, Karma! Yeah! I'm talking to you, Karma! <laughs> Karma's a bitch, Karma! As you can see, we've got Tekken 3 playing in the background. Classic fighting game. Cannot wait to get some playtime in on this game. Who's your main character? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. But super clean copy of Tekken 3. So hyped to be adding that to the collection. Alongside so many other great games. Especially the PlayStation 1 games. You know I say this all the time. I love picking up PlayStation 1 games. And here you can get a look at my PlayStation 1 collection in all of its glory. Definitely love adding games to this collection because it is one of my favorites. It's one of the ones that gives me the most nostalgia. So I am hyped to be adding a whole bunch of different titles into the mix for my PlayStation 1 games. Specifically though, aside from Tekken 3, SmackDown 2 Know Your Role, Greatest Hits Edition, awesome edition because I did not have either the Greatest Hits Edition or the regular Black Label Edition of that. So that's brand new to the collection. You see Twisted Metal 2 over here and Power Move Pro Wrestling. Call me a mark if you want, but I love wrestling games. I love adding them to the collection. So much so that my 2000th game was a wrestling game, Galactic Wrestling. So two more awesome additions there. And it gets even better. We've got so many cool titles going in. Warhawk, Grudge Warfare. We've got a demo disc. We've even got two games here. Let me pull them out. Nova Storm Disc 1, Cyber Sled. These are PlayStation 1 long box games, which you do not see that often. So that's pretty cool to be picking those up. Gives me a chance to piece them back together and get a complete copy of that. But that's not all. We've got PlayStation 2 stuff to talk about. I mean, first off, this huge eyesore of a box. I can't believe I picked this up, but for five bucks, I could not leave it behind. High School Musical DDR Pad. <laughs> But hey, I can never have enough DDR pads because weirdly enough, I know people who like to play DDR and they have come over and played DDR at my place with my thrifted DDR pads. So at least they're gonna get used. That's, that's pretty much all I can say about that. This is cool. This is cool. We are really getting old, you guys. I also wanted to point out we've got NBA Street 3, which has really good value. Shocking for a sports title. FIFA Street, not as good as I would have expected. Uh, yeah, a bunch of filler, Guitar Hero 3, Pinball, some, some junk dance games that are duplicates. But one of my favorite pickups, Turtles Cowabunga Collection. I was eyeing this thing up so hard at GameStop, I almost paid retail price for it just for the nostalgia. But I stood strong, I waited, and here I am picking it up on the cheap as part of my thrifted video game collection. It's all the sweeter that I picked this thing up without paying a ridiculous amount of money for it. That is a cowabunga to me. This one's too good, I can't handle it! And I guess last but not least, we've got a PlayStation 1 console, and you know I do not pick up consoles all that often, but I really wanted to establish that connection because they said they might have more PlayStation 1 games. Now that didn't really pan out, they haven't called me, but 20 bucks for a PS1 and this little Atari handheld plug and play, not too bad. This thing only goes for like 10 bucks, I think, by the way. <laughs> Nothing special there. 
But yeah, Total Game Haul is looking all too sweet right now. Honestly, this really was a game haul worth dancing for. <laughs> Oh, you poor man. You think you can dance. I didn't say stop. But after all of these pickups, after the awesome PlayStation 1 editions, the PS5 edition, the PS2 stuff, I know you're dying to know where the game collection stands as of right now. And after all of these pickups, we are currently at 2,000. 822 games in this thrifted video game collection. Closing in rapidly on 3,000 games. Looking forward to that milestone and also looking forward to the milestone of 100 episodes of Thrifting Throwdown, which is coming up very, very soon. And the other thing I look forward to every episode is reading all the awesome comments that the Dabamaniacs leave down below. Seriously, sometimes you guys are so nice and thoughtful and say some really great things about the episodes and I absolutely love that. Sometimes you're extremely insightful and teach me new things and teach other people new things and that is so freaking awesome as well. And other times we just chat and shoot the breeze so I definitely appreciate all of that. Keep dropping me comments down below. I really enjoy chatting with all of you. Okay. Speaking of chatting with all of you, if you haven't already, try checking out one of the premieres for my new episodes because we do always do a live chat. Me and all my friends get together and we have a good old time at the premieres talking about the new episodes and whatever else is on our mind. So definitely consider checking out one of the episode premieres if you haven't already. Also, if you want to help the channel, a like and a subscribe go so far because it helps to grow our little tag team, which is always nice because thrifting is way more fun with friends. Oh, that's so sweet. Lastly, a big thank you to the Patreon supporters who have shelled out a few bucks to directly support this channel. Your money is directly contributing to awesome game hauls just like these. And I am so thankful for all of your support. And if you want to support the channel just like these fine folks, be sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description down below. And if you're craving more El Dabs Royero, aside from the 80 something episodes of this series, which you can go check out right now, you can also check me out on Instagram, on threads, on the social media sites at El Dabs Royero, where I post all kinds of weird, random, wacky stuff. Quick reminder, at the end of this video, you will see the best thrift of the day, so do not miss that. I'm really curious to know what the best thrift of today is going to be because we've got so many contenders in this pile. But I think that just about wraps things up. I had an absolute blast and I hope you did as well. So let's call this one a day and until next time, keep on thrifting. Cowabunga. Looks like an Atari plug and play and then a PlayStation 1. Do you know what you'd be asking on them? I'm a